You be careful. You be safe, all right? All right. All right. I close it for you. Love you, okay? Yes, I love you. <laughs> be safe now, love. Okay. All right, so. Wow, so just got back from grabbing some lunch and it was this older woman. Well, you just saw her on the video. Um, I don't know if she's just leaving the bank or she's uh, going to the bank, but she was saying something about someone's birthday, one of her nieces and her nephews. This lady literally had two big manila envelopes full of money, 20s and 10s. And she dropped them. And, you know, in this parking lot, hopefully she's all right. Yeah, so two big giant manila envelopes full of money. And she's bent over. She's like 90. She's, you know, she's like a, a, a islander. Um you know, with a dad hat on, you know, driving to her, you know, 90s expedition. Um, and yeah, it's like money flying all over the parking lot. Like, no one's around to help her. And if I was any type of person, again, wearing black, people would assume I'm an asshole or I'm a thief or I'm some type of person that's trying to take advantage of people out here. Like... It had to be four grand, five grand, and I wasn't even counting her money like that. I had to crawl underneath her car to grab money. I had to run across the freaking uh, parking lot to grab $20 bills I was flying in the wind. Like, yeah, at any point I could have stuffed a few hundreds or even a, a, a dub in my pocket, but I'm not that type of person, man. The sun is shining down on people and everything is illuminated and unveil for you that is called a test when people look back on their lives and they look at the things that they regret and they look at the things that happened to them you know again you know the things that they regret these are the type of things that spirit tests you with you don't think i burned a green money abundance candle for money to just drop out of my lap from from anywhere for me to randomly find a garbage bag full of money like that would have been a perfect opportunity to ruin my char my character and my integrity like this lady can barely walk i don't even know why she's driving like people should people should have to take a reassessment class for driving when they reach these higher ages like 77 and 80 years old and things like that like that this is what happens when you see people on the news a woman and broad daylight get pistol whipped and robbed and i pray i thank god i thank god just for just for me being in that certain place at a certain time like standing the extra minutes in the supermarket to figure out what i want to get just so that i can make it to her location at that exact moment at that exact time as soon as i saw her she was bent over like she couldn't even get up And her money was just flying all over the parking lot talking about stacks of cash <laughs> and somebody's auntie or somebody's grandma or somebody's sister or somebody's mother or something. if it wasn't for me somebody would have you know could have been either way somebody somebody else could have come along and helped her there's probably 20 dollar bills still flying through the dang parking lot somewhere but that is crazy, yo. I thank God that for myself, I have some integrity. For elders, you know, I was just listening to a podcast about uh, young people connected with elders and bridging the gap. And I didn't expect her to give me anything. Like she, every, she worked hard for her money. However, she, however, whatever way she got it, because money's a figment of our imagination anyway. 
could have been all hundreds. It could have been two grocery bags full of a hundred dollar bills and it still wouldn't have would not have tempted me in any way. It's crazy, oh my god, like <laughs> just for the simple fact that I know what type of people are out here in this world, it makes me want to go home and cleanse myself. Because that that's just crazy, like it's just even playing in my mind like dang yo like <laughs> it could be so easy but that's the whole point you know the easy way out is always the easy way out man you know you think you're getting away with something when in fact indeed in places like new york there's cameras literally every six feet every 10 feet away from each other you're gonna try to rob somebody in the freaking parking lot like some people are gonna ask, oh, well, well, you stupid. No, man, you stupid. That's fucking karma, bro. Like you're gonna rob somebody's freaking grandparent, great grandparent. You know? Ironically enough, as soon as I got on the bus, I found, I'm wearing all black today. I found a freaking black umbrella that says New York on it. So you know what that means when spirit tells me to move, you know I have to move, you know that's on my fucking list. Jones, New York. What's Jones, New York? Is that near Manhattan? And this fancy umbrella I found on public transportation. I'm gonna go home and wipe it down with some hand sanitizer. But again, you know, black cats. I have a black cat on my Instagram for good luck, you know. It's just funny. So many things I could say right now, like. And that's the crazy part. When females think about what type of dudes they want to get in relationships with and the type of dudes they want to marry and the type of dudes they want to bring in their household around their family, around their kids. These are the moments. You know, some man going inside your purse. Some man randomly taking your keys and he's not contributing anything to the cause. He's not even contributing anything to himself. He's just leeching. But... Again, very interesting situation. I often dream about these different circumstances of finding money and, you know, it just so happened, you know, a lifetime of hoping and wishing <laughs> to find money. You find it in an unorthodox way and your morals and your characters and your integrity is tested. Um, I'm going to be traveling soon, so, you know, Again, you know, I don't even want to put that perception out there that I feel like I'm going back or I feel like I did the wrong thing because that's not it. It's just sometimes you have to explain these things to people and they wonder why. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people wonder why or wonder how I make money or, you know, how I'm able to do the things that I'm able to do without extra knowledge around how it is that I make my money. Um, but, you know not for people to um, stick their nose in you know I work hard just like every other immigrant that wants to come to this country wants to work hard even though I'm not an immigrant born and raised in Miami Florida one of the hated states one of the made-up states one of the made fun of states again they're making all their they're in the media now you know they're talking about all types of diseases and all types of comments and meteors hitting Florida. So I'm pretty sure within the next five to 20 years, they probably have some planned um, social experiment for Florida. You know, we just don't give a F down here. But again, you know, contra contra contradiction to we don't give a crap. You know, black men have to having to war with white women. It would have been a white woman that would have found that black old woman in a parking lot and would have robbed that lady for her five thousand dollars again i don't know how much money it was but it was two big giant <laughs> manila envelopes of money and the lady couldn't even move i don't even know why she's driving she should be home somewhere but um that was just a quick storytelling for today currently on my way home got my lunch for today cold sub um slowly weaning off the meats and things like that went from steaks to cold subs 
and um <laughs> and um yeah man it's just crazy bro just crazy i can't even stop thinking about it that's like turning down immortality Paco. but yeah um hopefully when you guys come across your tests and your moral challenges of integrity you're able to turn down these uh these things it's like sort of like being a rapper and a record company offers you a, a record deal and you know you're giving away your creative control things like that you have to weigh these things out it's like knowing i'm literally watching <laughs> lizards run across the street you know it's a similar thing it's like it's just the whole balance of life man I wouldn't want somebody to rob my sister. I wouldn't want somebody to rob my mom or my grandma or my daughter or anything like that. I wouldn't want somebody to rob me. So why would I put that energy out there? You know, to I was even evaluating myself. I was like, there's not one evil or one dark thought going through your head right now. And it's as easy as that. People make it seem like you need the Bible to tell you the difference between right and wrong. And I make this example all the time. No. I mean, I don't need the Bible to tell me it's wrong to kill my mom. Like, what the, what the F? Like, real stuff. I have abundance here. I have a, I have a mango tree that's going to be able to feed me for the next, for, throughout the whole summer. If I don't eat anything else. So... I can care less about, you know, money flying across the parking lot and no one being around and being like, I can steal her money and put it in my pocket. No, I'm literally crawling under cars to freaking grab dollar bills to put in her face so she can see me just doing everything in her face to make her feel comfortable to be like, I'm here for you. I'm grabbing your money. I know you can barely walk or can even bend, bend your back back up after bending down like i got your back i got you earth angel you safe go home <laughs> sit down in your rocking chair and drink some tea die on another day what do we say to the god of death not today what do we say to a robber not today love you guys be safe and i'll catch you on the next one